Guys from Stuttgart, good afternoon. It's a beautiful day here. Today we're gonna do a challenge and we're gonna try and spend 15 euros. So we're just gonna show you like how expensive Germany is. Or... And what can you get for the money? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's just to show the world what your money can get in a city here in Stuttgart. So that's our objective. Probably you won't get much things with that type of money. So, second. Sorry. Sorry, boss. How are you? What? We, we don't call it kebab, like here in Germany we call it doing. Hello. Hi. Hello guys, how are you? Good. Thank you. Why thank you? Uh, uh, what do you want to get? I, I'm doing one. One Ah, uh, Yeah, just, just one, yeah. Yeah, thanks man. Looks delicious. Looks really good. Looks so fresh. Which one? Chicken beef. Chicken, chicken kebab, yeah, chicken, chicken kebab. kebab, yeah, thank you. Yeah, cash and yep. Yeah. Uh, 650. It's chicken. For his first German kebab. Is it my first time? In the German dinner, yeah. I think it is my first time having a kebab in Germany. Very typical. It's too big for my hands though. And it's too big for my mouth. You have to squeeze. You're really squeezy, huh? You need lots of strength though. Okay, you can you can do it. Please start and starving. I wanna try some. Wow. What do you think? Very delicious. Very juicy, full of flavour. So many different salads and so the, the meat is so juicy, so there's so much flavor to it. Very tender. Mm, wow. Let me try. That was a How juicy is the kebab? Is that as good as the kebabs you tried in the past? Yeah. Madeleine used to eat lots of kebabs in the past. No, but I never. <laughs> when she lived a typical life in Germany. No, not really. What are you lying for? <laughs> sure. I did never eat this. Every weekend, no? No. Mm. Very delicious. Very delicious. Oh my god. Mm. It's heavy, basically. Yeah, um, we wouldn't typically eat this type of food always just on special occasions which is today because it's our first time in Stuttgart so um, we had to try the kebab because we're acting the tourists here in Germany yeah and we usually eat homemade food and homemade food is like so much better but this is very typical in Germany so we then had to try it once off occasion special occasion just finished the last bit of kebab. Went down really well. Really has gone down super well. I'm so addicted though. What are you doing here? Seems like the guys are really friendly in this place. And they're working super, super hard. A bit of sauce in my face, yeah. It was that nice. Right guys, that kebab was absolutely delicious. We're actually... Glenn, did you approve? Uh, yes, quite a lot actually. Uh, it was very delicious. I just wouldn't eat too much though, because you know, unhealthy food can be heavy in the stomach, but having a small amount was absolutely amazing and perfect. But we're walking down the main street here. The main, in, uh, the main shopping street. Main shopping street? Yeah. You've been here many times in the really past. Many times. See, Madeline lived here for six months, so um, she knows Stuttgart pretty well. And she can give you an insight on what to expect from the city. So this is the main street. Um, walking down the main street in Stuttgart. It's not the main street. The main shopping street, you said. The main shopping street is called the Königstraße. It's called King Street. King Street? King Street. And why is it called King Street? I don't know. You don't know? No, don't Very know. busy. It's Saturday, so everybody's shopping here on, on the typical weekend. So, very nice. There's Lego. Lego World. Want to buy some Lego? Yeah, for my brother. Pretend you're a kid again. Okay. <laughs> um, ice cream here. Oh, that's expensive. Look, for a, for a cup, seven euros. Oh, one bowl? One bowl? No, one bowl. Oh, that's not bad. 184, one bowl. That's not bad. 
So it's very easy to spend 15 euro, but we're trying to get the typical German things you would purchase while traveling around Germany. You can buy your local, egg. local farm, yeah, market. Some nice potatoes here. You have everything you have home stores, all the usual brands you would see in Europe. Yeah, oh my god, it's so busy, guys. Easy. Look how busy it is. So many people. People like to spend on the weekends, guys. People making music. Ah, look at nice. Find the violin. Really professional. They're actually only kids as well. Very talented kids. There's some uh, noise. The Saturday market where they sell all the locally grown uh, vegetables and fruits. Yeah. <laughs> They look absolutely delicious, guys. Nice fresh apples. He's a scary looking guy. <laughs> We're just coming down to the main square now. It's uh, Schlossplatz, it's called. That's a weird name, Madeleine. That means uh, Castle Square. Castle Square, it's down here. So, uh, <laughs> supposedly it's, what, what's, what's the event? Look, first of all, look all the vendors selling. It's still Saturday, so it's market, so everyone's selling local products and... Look at all the fire brigade. Yeah, so it's uh, apparently it's church, um, church day. Church day, yeah, so the supposedly. Catholic, uh, there. Uh, it says ca Catholic day, not this one, but like, I think it's Catholic day. It was like 30,000 Catholics have come oh, into the square. Says, it says it here, that's the, and then they have a program. It says they have like um, uh, a church, a mass. How do you say that? A mass? mass? Yeah. yeah. A mass, yeah. A mass and priests and the So there's a lot going coming. on here then. So yeah. It looks very uh, lively, so overwhelming. Looks Everybody's so having so, a good time. So I think it's maybe not the best time to come here when there's a festival and on a Saturday because it's really busy. Yeah, everybody's on vacation so, as well, so everybody's doing a bit of shopping. So it looks like there's a lot of faces down here, oh, tents. And, the, and the typical, you can buy like saucy, you know? Typical saucy over here. And then yeah. everybody's chilling over here on the stairs. Yeah. Okay. You can buy saucies everywhere. So we're just walking down to the main square now, guys. It's getting a bit breezy and windy. It's a bit of a weird weather condition today. Um, like it's not too cold, but it's not too hot at the same time. So, you know, Madeline's feeling the cold weather at the moment. <laughs> There's a nice greenery. Yeah, yeah, people in summer they just hang out here. You know, so, so this is the so this is the main square. It's the castle. It's castle square. People nice. hang out. Here. What's the name? What's the name of this building over here? All right. So this is. I'm just walking past the palace, um, and supposedly this is a mall behind me, which also looks like a palace. So. The place is quite wild on this Saturday afternoon, so um, the next thing we're going to purchase is a pint of beer. Yeah, very typical um, German beer. So Madeleine needs to relax, so it's a good place to no, chill out for a, a few good, minutes. It's not a good thing to relax. No, no. Okay. Right. I think the the pub is up here somewhere. You mentioned, yeah. yeah. This is a very popular place, yeah, to drink. So it's going to be quite busy today, especially as a Saturday, yeah. Well, I hope Len don't make too many problems because I've been haven't been here in quite a long time. So. Okay. So I'm not sure if it's even open. Right. Well, I'm, I mean, I assume you can find find beer somewhere though. Yeah. And it's supposed to be very cheap beer. Welcome to the outside beer garden on this fine day. Um, I can't even say this, Madeline. How do you say this? Come here. What's the name of the street? Say that again. Oh my god. Oh wow, look at this uh, Mercedes. Everybody's out drinking points. And uh, yeah. yeah, looks like a very fancy street. Lots of German cars, very expensive cars. So the place seems to be over here, yeah? So you drank here a couple of years ago, yeah? Right. 
just brings back memories, no? Mm -hmm. All right. Palasta. There. I can't even say the name of the place. Palace of the Republic. Nice, nice, nice. All right, pretty old school. Hello guys, how are you? Hi. Very good, my friend, very good. What are you getting? Uh, 420 for a beer, yeah? yeah? Typical beer, yeah? Thank you, sir. Thanks, boss. I think the beer. No, it's a it's a radler. It's mixed with, with lime, lemon. Is that lemonade. is that typical here in Germany, yeah, Madeleine? Typical. If you don't want a full beer, you have like a radler. So you don't get drunk as fast, yeah? yeah. That's the secret. Okay, cheers. How was the Madeleine? Tasty. As I remember. It's been a long time. Brings back memories. Right, I definitely don't drink, but I'll have a few sips just to try the German typical beer. So, with inflation at the moment, it's actually 15 euro won't get you far in a European city. So, how much did I pay? 490? You paid 420 for no, this? No, no, no. What do you think, Len? It's actually really, really nice. It tastes like lemonade beer. <laughs> lemonade. It tastes like lemonade. It's, it's really such, tasty. It's such a nice day. Yeah. It's a beautiful day here to be alive in Stuttgart, having a pint outside. It's been a long time since I had a pint, so yeah. So we're gonna share one, it's not too bad. Yeah, we're gonna share a pint. Why not? So actually I really recommend this place. It's a lot of young people come here. It's called, it's called Palace de Republic, which means, which means Palace of the Republic. This is the place, old school place. It's really busy today, you can see a lot of people in the background, out in the beer garden, having a good time, having a good chat. Um, there's a restaurant over here, with lots it's, of points as well. It's very close to the Schlossplatz, like the, you know, the square with the castle where we've been earlier. It's just down the road. And as you've seen, it's quite busy today, so people everywhere. So they've left cushions outside to make your own seats, so yeah. All right, perfect. Yeah, um, Want to sit outside? Okay, let's go. All right, really nice outside. We want to sit out in the sunlight, so. You want to sit there? Here's a cushion. Sorry. Okay, relax yourself there, Madeline, yeah? Oh, that's better, out in the sun. This is going down so well though, it's delicious. Well, that point was super delicious. Um, How much have you left? Uh, so 420 and 650, so... Um, I feel like everything increased. Everything is super expensive now, we've noticed. Um, we haven't really done any shopping in European cities in a long time, so you can see the difference. Oh, expensive. So, here we go. Where are you going now, Madela? What's the objective? Uh, buying a pretzel. All right. All right, guys, we need to walk through this crowd of people. That's a lot of people. So there's a bakery down here, and we're gonna buy a typical pretzel. So it's also very cheap to buy pretzels here in Germany. So and a super delicious or unique taste only in Germany. We have a little bakery in the middle of the, the main street, so we need to purchase. I think uh, in my village the prices are cheaper. Oh yeah? Cost 70 cent, yeah? So we're in a city, that's why everything's more expensive, but in Madeleine's little village everything seems to be a lot cheaper. So, But this is for city purposes, so um, usually people come to cities, so um, this is shown a good example of how much you can get for the 15 euro. Yeah, so we're just waiting in the line and uh, taking a couple of minutes. Um, but I've seen this very, very unusual fine you get in Germany. This is a problem. I'm not sure if 
hope that's in Germany, but it's here because uh, people are five, feeding the pigeon. Five thousand euro fine if you feed a pigeon. Imagine having to pay that. That's like that's pretty harsh. It's a pretty harsh fine. Oh my god, that's a it's high a, penalty. It's a problem. It's a big problem. With the pigeons? Okay. Oh. Oh, what's that? Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank you, Thank you Sean. Thank you, Sean. Get a pretzel, Madla. Here we have a pretzel. Oh. 90 cents. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna try the typical uh, pretzel here. I know I've tried it before, but I forget. I forget what. No, you don't forget. You have forget to what it tastes like. In my village. <laughs> How is it compared to the one you always have? Exact same. Yeah, exact same. Salty, very salty. Salty pretzel. Gib zu, ist ein bisschen schwierig. Jetzt letztes Bild, aber wir wollen noch eine Herausforderung. There's a lot of events going on at the moment in the city center. All right, Madeline, your turn. What's it like? Nice. Yeah. As nice as the ones in your village? I have to say the one in the village, they really big traditional. Right, so. It's not the dough, they pre-made and then they send it to a bakery and then they bake the rest, you know? like. It's uh, so it's made with love, much more in your village? My village is made And it's love. cheaper as well. And cheaper, and this tastes a bit pre-made. That's you know? why I want to live in a village. The cities are too wild for me. <laughs> Guys, we almost finished. We have like I think 45 minutes to our train and we are now leaving the King Street here in Stuttgart and we're going down underground. Ooh. Yeah, so we have two euro and 40 cent left so we need to spend it before we leave in the next 45 minutes. Probably some water because water is not for free. Which is pretty sad. But you know, water should be free. So I don't know why they make people pay for it in Germany. No, it's not good. It's not a nice rule, so I can't fill because my water bottle up. Everybody drinks a bottle of water, even though you can drink tap water. But like, if you're out in the public, you know, public places, you can't buy, they, you can't get like free water fountains. And yeah, fountains. it's sad. I just want to go to a water fountain and fill my bottle up, and reuse it's not bottles. Possible. You know, it's called reuse and recycling. <laughs> All right, we're in the train station. Um, we have some stores around. A lot of stores actually. Maybe we can get some cheap goods. With the last two you were on 40 cent that is a guys we almost finished we have like i think 45 minutes to our train and we are now leaving the king street here in stuttgart and we're going down underground Ooh. yeah so we have two euro and 40 cent left so we need to spend it before we leave in the next 45 minutes probably some water because water is not for free which is pretty sad but you know water should be free so i don't know why they make people charge they make people pay for it in germany no it's not good it's not a nice rule so i can't fill because my water bottle up everybody drinks a bottle of water even though you can drink tap water but like if you're out in the public you know public places you can't buy they, you can't get like free water fountains yeah, it's sad. I just want to go to a water fountain and fill my bottle up and reuse Not bottles. Possible. You know, it's called reuse and recycling. <laughs> All right, we're in the train station. Um, we have some stores around. A lot of stores, actually. Maybe we can get some cheap goods with the last two you were on 40 cent. That is a... Right, so we're just in the store here in the train station. See, the, the train we had earlier, you can buy one. One fifty-eight with the deposit. Because if you return like the bottle, you get money. Let's check the water. The water is more expensive than the beer. Uh, One ninety-five. That's a big bottle, though. A small bottle, yeah. One See, you can buy a beer. That's what people drink. It's the same price. Yeah. So and then you return your bottles over here, and you get your deposit back. You know, you put all your Sure, you put all your... You put your bottle in here, and then when you're done, you push the buttons and you get your deposit back. Does that work, no? Yeah, it does Hello, work. sir, how are you? Does this work? Yeah, it's not working. Not working no, anymore? Yeah. Oh, I sorry, told sorry about that, yeah. <laughs> it's good money. Yeah, I told him. It's pretty good money, actually, with the plastic bottles. 
25 cent a bottle guys it's pretty good um, we're trying to spend this 240 guys how much is coffee? How much is the coffee? coffee? Small black coffee. Small coffee yeah. How much is it? We, uh, I know the sexy cost. I know the sexy. One euro sixty. Yes, can I get one please? One euro sixty for coffee? Okay. Forty cents. Eighty. No no. You have eighty cent left. Eighty cent left. Probably the worst quality ever. Well no, seems okay. Seems like decent coffee. Guys, I have a, I have 80 cent left to spend. 80 cent. Yes, please. Yes, please. It's actually nice coffee, Madeline. The very smooth taste of it. It's coffee That was delicious. Here. Right, guys, we have a. Yeah, we have 80 cent left so um, it's gonna be difficult to spend but we have to go to the train station now I have my cup of coffee we're heading upstairs on the escalator and um, they have a lot of construction here it seems yeah. so this terminal is actually under construction guys we, I don't think we can even go to the thing we didn't oh no you have there. to go back outside yeah we have to go all the way around again all right let's go this let's is go. The, what's usually this is the old entrance actually. He's doing some hiking. Right, so we're walking to the main train station now to head back to Allen, um, the city where Madeleine lives. We're gonna give the last bit of money to musicians on the side of the street here. Oh wow. It's very uh very let's give it to them Okay. Ah, it's heartbreaking. The family's from Ukraine. Yeah. Ouch. It is a bit heartbreaking though. There, the sign is in English as well, so yeah. I mean, Ukrainians speak different language, so they don't speak German. No. Okay. Um, right. I'm just gonna get jump on the train now, guys. Right, we have a big problem. The train is cancelled, guys. Cancellation from Stuttgart. There's a train every hour. I can't believe it's cancelled, Madeline. I'm very upset. It's not good. It's not good at all. But well, this is the typical train station, <laughs> which we'll probably have to wait at now for the next hour or so for the next train. Okay, this guy has a little tram. Yeah, so the train is cancelled, so we need to wait 45 minutes for the, the next train, unfortunately. Which is pretty sad, so we're just gonna chill out and have a cup of coffee here at the train station. And wait patiently. Poor Madeline is stressed out. We need to be home for a certain time for dinner, so um, that might be an issue. So we're still waiting patiently here guys. Um, so the double decker here um, from Stuttgart train station has two floors which is quite fascinating. Why? I mean I think it's amazing having a double decker train. Um, you don't see that anywhere else in the world except Europe, no? I haven't seen a double decker train anywhere else except Europe. It seems to be normal here especially for long travels when you're traveling for a long period of time around Europe um, there's usually a double decker involved for a comfortable experience yeah I'm not sure maybe I'm wrong but I've never seen a double decker before outside Europe I can't tell I've seen yeah, okay. maybe, maybe you're right but I've seen it many times here so. yeah it's normal that's what I mean in, in Europe yeah so we're still waiting and um, we have like another another 15-20 minutes left. And it's just working hard, cleaning the front of the windows for the train. That's a pretty, uh, pretty easy enough job. Hopefully they, hopefully they pay him well. <laughs> it's out of typical, our control. Typical train. So this is a typical thing in Germany. Um, the trains are always cancelled, and I don't know, but it, happens it happens a lot though. And they're always late as well. It seems so. 
What's the hole in the ground? Oh, there you go. Automated uh, stairs. All right. I'm bored, mate. Oh, oh, oh you okay? Sorry. Okay, welcome on board. It's been a very eventful day today, so uh, it was a nice day in Stuttgart, so hopefully you uh, enjoyed the content. But the I'm train is super busy at the moment, so it seems like everybody's leaving Stuttgart. Um, in, the, in the previous train got cancelled. Ah, that's also why, yeah, the previous train was cancelled, so that's why it's making up the difference, and now it's full. Book deal. So goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video, video guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for future content.